am so excited because today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. I decided to go like a gingery brown color for fall. Right now I have just like this washed out blonde that's like not so cute. My roots are crazy. But I'm not going to do them in this video. I'm just going to dye the blonde part. Alright guys. <laughs> I don't have the patience, commitment, or energy to do all of that right now. Sorry, apologies. So my main point of reference was Miss Sizza. She often has this like ginger brown hair color that's like so, so beautiful. I've always wanted to do a hair color like that, but I just never thought it would look good on me. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it today. <laughs> I have already mixed up my hair dye. It looks like this. I wasn't sure if I I was gonna get the color that I wanted so I mixed it up before. Here's the footage of that. I basically mixed up a bunch of different hair dyes. I used some Good Dye Young, I used some Shrine, and I used some Adore. I don't know if you're supposed to mix these but they're all vegan and cruelty free. <laughs> and I also used a ton of white conditioner. I basically mixed like oranges, reds, and then I added in a little bit of blue and burgundy to create more of like a deeper, more brown based shade. I'm honestly so happy with the color that it came out to be it's kind of like a brownish red which is exactly what I wanted and yeah let's just get into it let's stop talking let's do it <laughs> please ignore my nasty hair dye shirt it has bleach all over it but it works you know I don't even have gloves I'm so nervous I'm always so nervous to dye my hair cuz like what if I mess up oh shit <laughs> Oh, it's real. It's real now. Oh my god. This is literally so real. Oh my god. I, is it gonna be like really bright? I don't think so. I hope not. It better not. I really love it so far. Oh my god. Sorry my voice is so raspy. <coughs> Thankfully, a little bit of this mixture goes a long way, so I hope I have enough for my whole head. Because like having to mix the exact color again... It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Let's start a time lapse right now because I'm bored and I wanna listen to music. <laughs> Okay, I'm slightly concerned because why does it look so pink? It looks so pink. I'm sure it looks even pinker on camera because I put like a pink filter on my videos. If you didn't know, now you know. Here is it without the filter. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so pink. Literally here, it's so orange and like this is like the perfect color. I'm so confused. All right, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this in for about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour and then wash it out. Okay, I just took a shower. I literally clipped up my hair so I have not seen it. I have a mirror right here. We are gonna reveal it together. I really hope it's not pink. <gasps> oh wait, I kind of love it though. I've always wanted a hair color like this, but I just like never thought it would look good on me. I still don't know if it looks good on me. Okay. Okay, who's this new bitch? All right, I'm going to like blow out my hair and I'll show you guys how I do that and then we'll see the final result. I feel like it always looks different when you dry it, but I hope that I like it. So far, I really do. Mmm, it's giving fall. I just got this, it's the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Leave-In Treatment and I used it once and it made my hair really really soft so I'm gonna use it again <laughs> It smells so good like I would wear this as perfume. <laughs> and then the Pacifica High Heat Shield. It's just a heat protectant spray. And then I just like to use my Revlon blow dry brush. I love this thing. I find that the best thing to do is do very small sections. And also after you dry a section, try to just like let that cool down for a bit before you start drying the section on top of it so that it doesn't get frizzy, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I love the color. It looks very bright on camera, which is concerning as hell to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it's giving SZA. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna order food. That's what I ordered. <laughs> Hey, are you 
you guys ready for this reveal? Focus, please. I love it, guys. I really love it. I don't think it's the color that I was aiming for. Like, it's kind of like that gingery brown, but a lot more pinkish, a lot more like maybe burgundy based. I think my main problem was putting that Adore burgundy shade. I think because I added too much of like a cooler tone. It came out like this. I'm not sure, but honestly, like I still like how it looks. I feel very cute. I feel like I needed a change for sure and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I did like run a straightener through my hair though because I wanted it to be super straight with this new look. What color is this guys? Please help me because I don't know. We'll figure it out. I really like how it turned out. I'm liking this hairstyle too. This looks very cute and edgy and I feel like a rock star. <laughs> like I literally feel like a rock star with this hair and I don't think that that's a bad thing But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it Let me know what you would call this hair color because I don't know at all and I don't even really know what color it is yet <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video But for now I got to go. <laughs> I love you guys Bye! Peace the fuck out <laughs>